Hey guys, how you doing? My name is TJ and in this video we're going to be talking about website layouts. One of the biggest questions that beginners tend to ask me is that, hey, I know HTML and I know CSS, but when it comes to build, building a web page, where do I even start? Right? Like, what do I start with? Right? So in this tutorial, I'm going to be taking an example web page and walking you through how to get started and how to think about breaking up the web page into different sections that will now make it easy for you to start with the HTML portion of your page and get that structure correctly to now make the CSS aspect a lot easier. Okay, so before we get started, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, just to help me to continue making videos like this for you. Now, let's go. All right, guys, so this is the example web page that we are going to be talking through how to build. So the first thing that you want to do anytime that you have a web page that you want to build or that you want to replicate is to just think about how can you break that web page up into different sections, right? In, in terms of just different boxes, how can you use boxes to kind of group different parts of the page together? in a way that makes it easy for you to not write your HTML because these boxes are going to represent our div elements and our divs are going to be our containers that we're using to group different portions of the page together. Now, just to kind of like make that make sense a bit more, you know, if we were to start trying to break this web page down into different boxes that we can group stuff together, the thing that we'll see is the first box is going to be this thing, right? Like we can actually group this whole top portion of the web page into its own box, right? So this red box that you see would represent a div element that we're using for this box or this container. So now inside of this div, you can see that we can actually group this portion of the page into its own container as well, right? So this is now another div element and the content inside of this div element is where our logo will go. So here, you you know, you can either put an image tag with your logo in there, or like they're doing here, you can just have a P tag that says insert your logo here, right? But now on this right side, you, you'll see that we can also group our nav bar menu into its own container, right? So now this, this red box is a div element and inside of this div, this is now when we can, this is now where we can write the code for our nav bar element. Does that make sense so far in terms of, okay, you know, this is our web page and this is how we can just kind of use these boxes to group elements together. Because now when it comes to writing our HTML code, and you should always just start with the HTML code. So when it comes to writing the HTML code, you now know that, okay, inside of my body element, I need to now have this div, right? And this div is gonna have two more divs inside of it. And inside of the first div, that's inside of our, you know, bigger container div, I'm gonna have some kind of image tag or, you know, some kind of P element, just whatever tag I need for this content. And then inside of this div, this is where my nav bar menu is gonna be. So however you choose to create your nav bar, well, whether it's by using you know a nav element or using a UL tag with list items in it, boom, it's up to you. But the bottom line is, you know, just think about breaking down a web page into boxes that you can use to group different portions of the page together. So now let's keep going, right? So here we can now see that oh, we can actually group this section of the page into its own box or into its own container as well. And inside of this box, we see that we can further group things together by putting this portion into its own box as well. So inside of this box, this can just be a P tag with all this body of text inside of it, or each of these lines could be its own P tag. All right. But then on the other side, we see that we have this image and this image can actually go inside of its own div container as well. Right. So basically we, we have kind of a similar pattern here. We have a big box to kind of, you know, just group that whole section of the page together. And inside of that, we have a smaller box that we are using to group this text portion. And then right next to it, we have another div element or another box 
that we are using for our image. Now, remember, each of the red boxes that you're seeing represents a div element that we are using as a container to group the different parts of the page together. All right, so hopefully this is making sense because as we keep going, what you'll see is that it is actually pretty simple. Once you start to group elements together into boxes, it now makes writing your HTML code a lot easier, right? Because the first thing you can do is to just write all these div elements. And then once you now have the div elements, you can now put the content inside of them. Okay. So for this portion, we see again that, you know, we have a similar pattern where we have a big box that we are using to group this whole section of the page together as one. And inside of this box, we can now group this portion of the page together. And we see, you know, inside of this div, this is going to be a heading tag. And this is going to be a P tag that we have this large body of text in, right? And the same thing is right on the other side of it, right? So we can actually group this portion into its own box as well. And the content is going to be a lot similar, right? So this is going to be a heading tag here. This is going to be a P tag, and this is going to be another P tag. And this last portion is where it kind of gets a bit more complicated a bit, but the same notion carries, right? Like how can we break this web page down and group it into boxes that make it easy to section our page, right? So down here, we know that we can now have this big box to section this whole area. And inside of this box, we know that, oh, you know, we can actually group this whole bottom area together, right? Because this is kind of its own section that's a bit separate from this from this heading here. And, you know, we can actually put this heading inside inside of its own div element as well, right? You can do that or just leave it as like a H2, H3 or something, whatever. But inside of this box that we have these cards in the thing that we see is we can actually further group the content inside of the box right so each of these things or each of these cards can actually be in their own divs right because you know you see this this smaller box here will contain an image tag it'll contain a heading a p tag and a button tag right so and we see that this same pattern carries out right so each of these will be inside of their own div element as well. Right. So now this makes it really easy for you to start with your HTML code, because the first thing you have to do is to just start from the very top. And you see that we have this big box on the outside. This is our first div. So you now write that div, the opening and closing tag. And the next thing you put is the second div inside of it. And you know that you also have another div. So you now have a div with two divs inside of it. And inside of the first div, this is where you put your insert, insert your logo content. So you can put that inside of a P tag, or you can actually put a logo, you know, an image tag. And again, this is just a sample web page, but this is how you should be thinking about, you know, breaking down web pages to make it easy for you to structure your HTML code because as long as you group the different sections of the pages into boxes, those are just container elements or div elements that you can use to now start to write your HTML code. And as long as you have this HTML structure correct, it'll be a lot easier for you to start working on the CSS aspect. So hopefully this makes sense. And hopefully this, you know, helps you out in terms of helping you to kind of really think about how to structure and start working on the HTML for a web page that you're building, okay? Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my page if you haven't already and check out rootstechnology.info to learn more about learning to code with me as your mentor and tutor. Thank you.